We got Jackson Murphy, our favorite uh, Capital Region movie reviewer, doing a Zoom call. We'll put the video up on the blog in case you miss anything here. But we got some good movies to talk about. Uh, Denzel Washington is back. He's one of my faves. Oh, then you're going to love this, Randy. The Little Things. This is in theaters and on HBO Max. Denzel's been in a lot of cop detective movies over the years, and this is another one of those. It's a great cop detective murder mystery drama set in L.A. in 1990. It's him, fellow Oscar winners Rami Malek and Jared Leto. They all deliver. This is written and directed by John Lee Hancock, who directed The Blind Side, which won Sandra Bullock an Oscar for Best Actress. Very well-crafted film. It's been a passion project of his for nearly 30 years, and the movie is finally here. You just sit back, you enjoy it, you enjoy the rhythm that this movie has. I like it a lot. The little things. Check it out. All right, well, watch for that one this weekend. What else is going on? Well, there's Justin, a Justin Timberlake thing, right? Justin Timberlake is bringing acting back. Yeah, he's in a new movie called Palmer on Apple TV+. Plus. He plays a guy who's been in prison for several years. He gets out, he's back in his small town uh, home and uh, he, this little boy comes into his life. And the boy is played by eight-year-old Ryder Allen, a name you're gonna hear for a long time because it is a great breakthrough performance. Uh, so natural on screen with Timberlake, with June Squibb, Juno Temple, uh, great performance for a young actor. And uh, they are the reason, the chemistry between Timberlake and Alan is the reason to check out Palmer. Oh, that that, that daddy stuff is paying off for Justin. <laughs> what else you got uh, this weekend for us? New film on Netflix, Penguin Bloom. This is based on a true story. Naomi Watts plays a mother of three living in Australia. Uh, she becomes paralyzed and uh, isn't happy with her life at this point, can't interact with the kids. And then this magpie, this bird comes into her life and brightens her spirits. It brightens the kids and her husband. Uh, it's a sweet film and it's a very grounded film and a very realistic film based on a true story, an incredible story. You can look up after you watch the film, a good family drama. Drama, Penguin Bloom on Netflix. Oh, I just got to chill up my spine. Yeah. Uh, that sounds it, like a good one. And another film is Supernova. This is uh, in theaters, actually the bow tie Saratoga, and then it'll be on VOD in a couple weeks. This is a drama starring Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci, two of our finest actors. They play a couple who've been together for a long time and they're going on this getaway because Stanley Tucci's character has dementia and it's going to be setting in very soon that he's gonna start forgetting everything. The performances are good. It's a very heavy film. If you like the two of them, then I recommend you watching it. But if you're not in total tears by the end, Randy, that this movie doesn't fully work on you. <laughs> you don't have a soul. <laughs> and then the last one is Wendy Williams, the movie. Now I was thinking about this before we went on the air here, Randy, I bet when you get off the air every day, you go home and turn on Wendy Williams and get all those hot topics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing I do as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing and all that? Well. This is a new Lifetime biopic, and it's on Saturday night at 8 o'clock, and I had the chance to screen this. And sometimes your Lifetime movies can be sappy and overdramatic and have a bunch of sex scenes, and there are those in this film. But what makes it work is that Wendy Williams' life story is really interesting. This biopic, Sierra Payton, who plays her, not only looks like her, but the way she delivers the dialogue and the inflections are so spot on. And you learn a lot about Williams' rise in radio, which is absolutely fascinating. So if you're into pop culture, if you're into Wendy Williams, that is Saturday night at eight o'clock on Lifetime. And I'm sure all over Twitter and Facebook, everybody's gonna be talking about it. All right, Jackson Murphy, our favorite Capital Region movie reviewer. Where can they see your reviews? Lights-camera-jackson.com, Twitter at LCJ Reviews, and Instagram at Lights Cam Jackson. All right, we're going to pop some popcorn, watch some movies. Have a great weekend. Let's do it. You too. Thanks.